Having two Michelin stars puts you in a class of its own, but with the kind of cooking that Chef does and that he's refined over his 40-year career, there's no doubt in my mind that it's three Michelin star food. high energy right now, focused on proving that a mere 40 years and you can possibly attain uh, that sort of ultimate French acknowledgement. So, on six, be fast. The Michelin Guide is the Oscars of the culinary realm, you know, one star is a huge achievement, two stars is amazing, three stars is the top restaurants in the world. That's something that everyone strives for. Everyone wants to be recognized for that. And, you know, very few actually get that recognition. We've been on high alert ever since the first of the year. And I don't think anyone's 100% sure how the Michelin Guide operates as they want you to be. I mean, if you could figure it out, that'd be great. 31, Sunflower. 31. Sunflower is a possible of Michelin stars inspector. The other night, we had like four sunflower tables. Right. They just kept popping up. They're like, sunflower, sunflower. And we're like, <gasps> Yeah. Hot Maloney, don't be shoving people's popcorn. When sunflower is popped up, everybody's just on edge and is all about that one table. Anytime. Yeah. Good. What's the difference between a two- and a three-star restaurant? In a two-star restaurant, everything is superb. The ingredients are wonderful. The preparations are exquisite. Eyes on 74, please. 74? Yes, please. Julian. But I always say there's just a sort of feeling in the air. The French call it frisson, an, an electricity in a Michelin three-star restaurant. Like when the curtain goes up and you have a really great star performer. Very nice. 